uh, in this video I'm going to explain the time complexity of binary search so binary search in worst case takes order log n time so uh, for binary search uh, input must be sorted so we will assume that we have an input array of size n uh, and it's already sorted so let's say we have this input array of length n or you know we have n uh, integers in this array so basically what we do in binary search is we pick the middle element and let's say uh, the number that we want to search is uh, x here okay so in binary search what we do is we pick the middle element and we'll compare the element in question or in this case x with the middle element let's say the middle element m here if x is greater than m then we know that x is uh, present in this subarray okay there's no point in searching in you know this uh, subarray and if x was less than m then we would want to search in this subarray so what we do in this process is we completely discard uh, one subarray right let's uh, let's go with the case where x is greater than m uh, in which case we completely you know discard this subarray and we only search in this subarray effectively reducing search space by half here right so we with one comparison with one comparison we reduce the search space by half okay so let me write this one comparison reduces the search space by half right so we start with the input size as n all right and then uh, we compare the middle element with x and then we see that you know uh, and at that time we have two halves right two subarrays uh, each of size n by 2 as you see in this case uh, this is n by 2 and this is n by 2 and then based on the condition we decide to go with the this right subarray or let's say in this case uh, this subarray so then we'll repeat the same process on this subarray what we do is we divide this subarray into two uh, we will divide this subarray into two and now each will be of the size n by four or two into two right n over two into two because we'll be multiplying it by half right we are dividing this particular subarray into uh, two right and now then we repeat the same process again on uh, one of these two subarrays which were obtained from n by 2 right or it's nothing but n by 4 so in this case let's say we go with this subarray and then you know it will be further divided into two subarrays which will be of size 2 into 2 into 2 n over 2 so it's nothing but you know at this level size of each subarray is n over 2 at this level size of each subarray is n over 4 at this level size of each subarray is n over 8 right so we keep on doing that we will keep on doing that uh, in worst case we will go uh, we'll, we can assume that the element is present uh, in you know at the last index of the array right in which case we'll keep on doing this until the denominator is nothing but n right so you know in which case the last division will be something like you know there's only one element in uh, the last two subarrays right just one element here and one element here so basically n we will be expecting n over n at that time right the division will be something like this n over n in the end or in other words it will be something like n over 2 raised to something let's say k here because if you look at this pattern we are always dividing by 2 so n over 2 into 2 into 2 is like here it was n over 2 raised to 3 but it will reach a point where at some k this you know this 2 raised to k will be n right so let's say 1 yeah. so basically you know if 2 raised if 2 raised to k is nothing but n 
we can write something like n over 2 raised to k is equal to 1 or n is equal to 2 raised to k right so uh, if we take log on both the sides we will get something like log of n is equal to k into log of 2 we know that log of 2 is 1 which uh, leaves us with k equal to log n right so the k here is going to be the height of this uh, uh, recur recursion tree or this binary tree right so or k is nothing but the number of comparisons so remember i said one comparison reduces the search space by half here right so at every iteration k is getting incremented by one right so the number of comparisons is equal to k so that's where the in worst case uh, in worst case this k will be uh, will yield a value which equals to n right so 2 raised to k will be equal to 2 raised to k will be equal to n in worst case right that is the element is present at the last position or at the first position right so so this way we find that k is equal to log n and k is nothing but number of comparisons we do only one comparison at every uh, at every division right before dividing at here we did one comparison then in this subarray we'll do another comparison and then we divided uh, then we uh, further divide the array so you see we go from n to n by 2 one comparison n to n by 4 second comparison right up to k comparisons and in worst case k comparisons and at this kth comparison uh, we can say 2 raised to k is equal to n and you know doing some math we see that k is equal to then log n so th this is where binary search uh, you know is better in terms of performance uh, in terms of performance because you know you can see it yields a logarithmic complexity which is uh, much better than a linear time complexity or quadratic so yeah uh, i hope this video was helpful